sitting here with Dean Ween in the shack in New Hope, Pennsylvania. This is Guitar Moves, and uh, we've known each other for 25 years. <laughs> since more. since more. high school. Yeah, straight up. Yeah. Uh, and uh, when did you get the shack? I've had the shack eh, like seven years or something, I guess, now. There was a period where I left the shack for seven months, and it was the biggest mistake I ever made. Even the landlord knew I was coming back. He was, like, laughing. Because you got a more expensive place to get more serious? Yeah, I got a fancier place, and nothing got done there. It just wasn't comfortable. What was that song called? That was called Dickie Betts. <laughs> and what, what's that about? <laughs> it's about Dickie Betts. You know, I actually met Dickie Betts when I was, like, 12 years old. I, I, played, I played junior hockey at a really high level. We were on tour somewhere, and he got into the, he got into the elevator with my father and I. My father knew who he was. Oh, Dickie right? Betts, by the way, being the guitar player of the Allman Brothers. For, for those of you yeah. who don't know anything, <laughs> but uh, know shit. he was the scariest guy. It was like <laughs> being like in an elevator with Sonny Barger or something from the Hell's Angels, <laughs> except worse. He was like green and pockmarked and didn't look like he'd slept for a long time. But he's one of my favorites. I actually only know. I've been playing two guitar solos my entire life, right. and no one's figured it out yet. One is the one from Blue Sky, and then the other one is, I don't even know what the other what's, one is. But, so what's but, the Blue Sky move? <laughs> That's sort of, I kind of rip off that too. It's like the happy scale. <laughs> yeah, this is a really exactly. this one. I have two modes I play in. I have the happy right. thing and then the angry thing. No, the other one is maggot brain. Everything that I play is a variation on either maggot brain or blue sky, regardless of. Maggot brain being Eddie, 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 Eddie Hazel. Eddie Hazel from right. Funkadelic, yeah. Which is the. Do a mag brain That's type. just more of like the, you know, pentatonic sort of standard. Uh, well, I figure that with this thing, Here's the idea. If you could tell some kid what to do on guitar, what would be the... I actually tried to give guitar lessons in, I don't know, like 1995. There was a local music store and it just opened up in New Hope. This is when Ween was happening. Yeah, Ween was already happening. And I didn't know if I could do it, so it was about the challenge of just seeing that, you know, just because you can play a little bit doesn't mean you can teach necessarily. All right. But the most valuable lesson that I learned the guy that taught me was a friend of mine. I wasn't really a teacher. He taught me that the guitar, when you wear your guitar, it either goes below your dick or over your dick, like George Harrison. Right. But never covers your dick. It, sh it should be above so or below. So that was what I taught these, but that only takes like 10 seconds to teach that. <laughs> so I had to fill the other hour. I had to fill the other hour with information. <laughs> Let's, uh... What are some other things you showed me? Um, what about the the Mr. Will you please help my pony chords, right? Weren't those some like advanced? Yeah, yeah, that's, that's some advanced. That's, shit. A, that's a fancy schmancy song. That was um, about the time we started making our fourth record, Chocolate and Cheese. All I knew was what is uh, that chord? bar chords. I knew like you know, you know, I figured out like if this is a E major and you barred it here, it was an F. Right. right. And that's all you really need to know to start a band. Right. And then eventually you like branch out and you start including minor chords, like you know. Unless you're the Ramones, and then there's no minor chords. Right. And you just stay with the these. Ed Wilson, my friend, started teaching me like major seventh chords, which uh, is what? which is like jazzy stuff, you know, like, you know that kind All of right. stuff. And um, we got so many miles out of those chords, like uh, on that record, "Freedom of '76" and "Mr. Would You Please Help My Pony." And to this day, we start using major seventh chords. So, you know, so, so major. So, how do you turn a major chord into a major seventh? Do you, do you, know? you know, I don't know the names of notes and <laughs> strings. I know that this isn't. 
and that's a that's an A major, that's an A major seven. So if you bar it, you know, it sounds sweet. But um, so so when he taught me that, we wrote like tons of so like some of the best songs in that record that came out of that knowledge. For and, example, but, well, Mister, would you please help my pony? Is is uh, E major seven. And it's, what it does is it goes from major sevens to minor sevens and half steps. So it goes E major seven, E flat minor seven. Wait, is that? It's an E flat. Actually, yeah. Okay, so it's. And then D major seven. And then C sharp minor. And then A. And then G sharp minor. And then B. So it goes like this, it goes. always trying to get us to write a third section. We never had third sections. It was always just A and B. So I was looking in a song book we had there, and it had Isn't She Lovely oh, yeah, by yeah. Stevie Wonder. Okay. And it said F sharp 13th. And I looked it up, and I figured out that this is how you play. So it's like, isn't she lovely made from love? Oh, yeah. That's yeah, also so, the same as Galveston, like, uh, when I like Galveston. Yeah, so, so it goes like this, it goes, I think it's this thing. This is the bridge. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I'm playing an F-sharp 13th chord there. But I also like that you choose to do it like this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we always had a language of, uh, like, a taster, for example. We could maybe even just break, to break that down. Uh-huh. What would you call a taster? If you, if a taster is anything that, well, that just distinguishes itself from the rest of the the uh, the uh, chord progression or, or whatever. Like, it could be anything. It's just, you know... Any any anything that's tasty is a taster. All right. I mean it's like the frap, which is a really seems like a really small thing you take for granted, but it's something that people can hear and feel, but they don't know what it is. Basically, what the frap is, instead of playing this, like, is to drag the pick across the strings before you hit it, and it's just like. It's <laughs> 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 all that noise in there, yeah, it's like. My buddy Billy Tucker, when, when he was teaching me these like valuable lessons like below the dick or over the dick, oh, Tucker but never covering the dick, yeah. yeah. The other thing he taught me was to miss big, which I've never forgotten. It's like if you're gonna go for something and you're gonna blow it, there's at least a 50% chance. You have to blow like, it hard. Miss big, yeah. Right. It's, like, <laughs> it's like golf. If you're gonna swing and you suck, swing as hard as you possibly can. So if in the off chance you get lucky and it goes straight, you look much cooler. I was into Zeppelin bootlegs and, and Jimmy Page on record is like obviously just he's one of my favorites of all time but to really appreciate the essence of Jimmy Page you need to get the bootlegs because so he's the brownest guitar player <laughs> ever 
like, talk about missing big, <laughs> but uh, he's the king of the way too far bend. So it's like, if you want to bend a note, like, like we were playing before, like you. Yeah. He'd go. <laughs> with, with the frap, with the guitar around his ankles, you know, not covering the dick. These are very important things here. When you're a 12 year old, that's like a $500 lesson yeah. right there. For free on the yeah, internet. Like, <laughs> with strings ringing open in the wrong key. <laughs> The other thing I love about Jimmy Page is that he'll play something and it'll it'll just be like, like the strings will be ringing open and it'll be fraps and and it'll just be this un indiscernible like garbage, but it'll end up on like the Jimmy a Jimmy Page note. It's just like yeah. 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 It's like as long as you end it there, you know, it's like <laughs> Thanks for uh, having us over at the shack, mm. Mick. It was a blast. Yeah. So we worked for it. Gross. Oh, <laughs> man, it's great. Right. Above below, the dick, uh, below the dick. Never over the dick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>